Gabe Tuft, who went by Tyler Rex in the WWE ring, made headlines last month when news broke that she's now Gabby, a transgender woman. She's sharing her inspiring story in today's Chatting with the Stars. There she is, Gabby Tuft. Welcome to DBL. So your personal story is definitely one of inner strength despite your previous physique and career as a male professional wrestler who your fans once knew as Tyler Rex. So what led you to go public with your transition and what were some of your biggest fears about coming out as transgender? What led me to come out is that I had just reached the point where I could no longer hide who I really was. I was very depressed still presenting male and I'd come past that with my wife Priscilla. She was such an amazing rock that helped hold the family together. She's been my supporter the whole time. So my biggest fears were rejection from family, rejection from friends, the, the basic societal beating that we get that we're going to lose our business, our friends, our family, our finances. We're going to be alone. We might be out on the street. My wife would divorce me. My kid would never talk to me again. And so all those fears were just swimming around in my head and in my mind. And it's it's just so beat into us as right. we grow up that that's a real possibility. So I had to find a way to deal with that. And you're right. Unfortunately, that is a, a, a very real reality with uh, people struggling with their gender identity. And my heart breaks, not only for, you know, every individual struggling with that, but our youth, right? I can't even imagine what yes. they must be going through. Uh, I'm so happy to hear yes. that your wife, Priscilla, was so supportive of your transition. How was transitioning impacted? Uh, how did it impact your marriage? What's it like for your wife now to be married to a woman now? Was there a transition for her as well? Oh, absolutely, yeah. It was difficult at first. She was so accepting of it from the start, but basically she just said, look, I, I love you. That's never gonna change. I love who you are inside, but we'll make this work and we will figure it out. So she has been a rock since day one. There, you know, there've been some moments where she cries, I cry, cause we're just not sure exactly how to handle the emotions. But in all honesty, she has been the strongest supporter. And yes, she is transitioning with this as well, just kind of like the way the rest of the world is. Uh, now that you are no longer Gabe, how do you view your mm -hmm. past career? The wrestling community has been fantastic. I have received an enormous amount of private messages, public comments, um, just current past wrestlers that are well known. They were always so good to me. When did you first sense that you were actually female Explain what that was like for you personally. Yeah, so this was something that had been building my whole life and I was wrestling with it for a very long time. Always, always kind of knew that I was interested in understanding what it was like to be a female, but it didn't really surface completely until about three years ago. So I'm in my 40s, I'm 42, so figure 39-ish, it started to surface to where I thought, okay, this can be something I can do inside. And I think this is what possibly a lot of transgender men and women go through. It starts in the house, in the privacy of your home, where you can experiment. And for me, I would borrow Priscilla's clothes and I would just kind of experiment, sometimes when she wasn't home, and then other times as we got more comfortable, she would help me. For those that don't have support, I would say experiment at home. Start there, look in the mirror, become comfortable with who you are. Beautiful, I'm so happy to hear that. Now let's have a little bit of fun. What do you find to be the most fun okay. thing about becoming a woman? Oh gosh, I <laughs> I like uh, when I get my hair done. Yes, me too, oh, me too. And then uh, I was supposed to go to the gym, I'm like, no, I'm gonna go use this hair. <laughs> I love it. I love you so much. Thank you so much, Gabby, for joining us, for sharing Absolutely. your story, for being an advocate. You inspire me, and I'm sure you inspire so many people that are watching. I appreciate you. We'll be right back. Thank you.